Okay, welcome back. In the last video, we introduced you to the concept of oxygen content, and we um, we worked our way through the formula of how to calculate oxygen content by looking at the dissolved oxygen in the plasma and the oxygen that's combined to hemoglobin. Now, in what we're going to do in this video is we're going to take some sort of normal values for um, the parameters that we need, some norm normal arterial blood gas values, and we're going to calculate a normal oxygen content based on those values and what we're going to what you're going to see when we do this is you're going to see that the amount of oxygen which is carried by hemoglobin is hugely hugely outnumbers the amount of oxygen that is carried by that is dissolved in the plasma and this dissolved portion is a very very small portion of the total oxygen content so that's hopefully going to be um, something which helps you contextualize the, the different ways that oxygen is carried and transported in the blood so we have some normal values here so here's a 15 15 grams 100 mils is a fairly normal adult value for just a, a male i guess just a hemoglobin there um and then we have a, a pretty normal pao2 100 millimeters of mercury and then a pretty normal oxygen saturation of 99 percent so let's plug those numbers in here and see what we get for our um, oxygen content so what you can do um, we do these in some of the other videos is that if you want to pause the video now and just plug these numbers in and see if you can get the right answer there yourself and then and then we'll, we'll work through them okay so if you're back from pausing we're gonna get going and calculate these numbers so we're gonna plug in 15 uh, grams per hundred mil for our hemoglobin we're gonna times that by uh, 1.34 1.34 and that's mils of O2 per gram of hemoglobin and then we're going to times that by our oxygen saturation here which is 99% that's going to be the first part and then we're going to add that to um, our PaO2 which is 100 so 100 millimeters of mercury and then we're going to times that by um, our, our little conversion factor here so 0 0.003 0 0.003 0 0.003 and that should give us our answer so let's plug these in so you can do these along with me so 15 times 1.34 times by 0.99 is so this equals 19.899 so we'll do that and then if we calculate this one as well we're going to do 100 millimeters of mercury times by 0 0.003 equals 0 0.3 and the, the units here, sorry, I should have added those, is mils of oxygen per 100 mils of blood for this one. And it's going to be the same here. So mils so per 100 mil. We'll do that. Okay. It's, this can also be called volume percent. Okay. So then when we add these together, we're going to get 19.899. And then we're going to add 0.3 gives us 20.199 and that's volume percent or you can put mils per 100 mils of blood okay so this is and that would be a fairly normal that would be a normal oxygen content 20 around 20 so but what you can see here which is pretty interesting is when you plug in some normal values you really see how dependent we are on the uh, hemoglobin carrying capacity so if you look at this 19.899 of this 20.199 of oxygen content comes from our oxygen bound to hemoglobin and only a very very small portion of it comes from what's dissolved in the plasma so it just goes to show that 
as you like an example would be if somebody was losing blood and you're losing hemoglobin this this carrying capacity which is so important for your oxygen content starts to go down because we lose our hemoglobin so hopefully you can see here that just by plugging in some normal values and just sort of get an idea of what an oxygen content looks like for a normal value what we'll do in the next few videos we will start doing some more examples some more problems and start plugging in some maybe some abnormal values just to reference, this came from the Sibison text um, on the practical math for respiratory care, which I'll reference in the bottom of this as well if you want to check it out.